everybody this is Felicia and I'm here with the series that I am doing with Hannah, Megan, Christina and Sarah called For the Love of Homemade Kits. Um, what we decided to do is to do a little mini kit for this month because December is super busy and we're only going to do two um, videos to accompany um, with the with the layouts that we're going to be doing. So I'm going to get started because it's not a big kit at all and as you can see at the beginning our cut file there was at the beginning. That's what our inspiration piece is right here. So this is our inspiration piece and I've already cut mine. As you can see, it's nicely cut there. Let me move this out of the way because this is playing tricks on my eye. Anyway, so it's nicely cut there, as you can see. And what I decided to do was include the negatives and I put them in this plastic bag. So these are all, not the negatives, the um, inner cuts there. So these are all the hearts that came from out of there as I was cutting it and so I decided to save those. Okay, and so I'm going to be adding those to my kit as well. So that's our inspiration piece here. Um, this is also this is by Ashley Horton. So if you're interested in going on her site, it's very cheap. I mean, to me it's cheap, but um, her cut files are amazing and I just love her cut files. So, alright, so this is our inspiration piece. I'm going to Leave it at the bottom. So we're supposed to pick three 12 by 12 papers and I picked this black and white stripe. Okay, and on the back of this is some colors and flowers or something like that that I might use and then I might not. It just depends. But for the most part, this is why I picked this piece. The second one I picked was for the black and white polka dot and um, the black background with the white polka dot. And then I'm, I might use this pink side too, so you never know. So we're only supposed to pick three 12 by 12s with this. And so the next one that I picked is this rainbow kind of sort of stripe there. And I didn't pick it for this side because I'm not gonna be using that side, but I did pick it for the colorful side. So these are the three papers. We're supposed to have three 12 by 12s. Okay, so here's that. The next thing we're supposed to have is a dimensional embellishment, but we'll go to the embellishments in a second. I'm just going to do all the paper. And we're supposed to have some 6x6 six six papers. So what I did was I pulled out my 6x6 six six paper pad for the Simple Stories Carpe Diem. Carpe, no, Carpe Diem. Is it Carpe? Carpe. <laughs> don't, don't pay me any attention anyway. So I pulled that out and to go with this. And so as you can see, there's that black with the white. But then they also have these other pieces in here that I just might use. And also to these little smaller cut aparts here. So I might just decide to use something from there. So um, that's what I decided to pull out to go with that. And then um, I also decided, because we're supposed to have an embellishment, um, an ephemera pack, I guess, or embellishment pack, but I decided to go ahead and pull out the Carpe Diem um, um, ephemera pack there. And so here is what's in the back on here. As you can see, let me try not to get any shadow here. So there's that. So that's what's in this pack. I haven't opened it yet, but I'm going to go ahead and do that. And then we're supposed to pick one alpha, and I decided to pick an older alpha that's been sitting in my stash, and I think I've only used a few letters out of here, actually. And um, so this is called Wonder, and it's a foam. It's a tinier foam. It's thicker, so this is the back here. I like the brackets back here, so I might be using those for some reason. Who knows? <laughs> so that's what we have to choose. And then we're supposed to choose some other things. So we have all of this stuff. And then we're supposed to choose some wood veneer. Now for my wood veneer, I went into my Freckle Fawn um, embellishment pack. And I pulled this out because my theme is basically black and white. So what I decided to do was pull these wood veneer out. And this came from that black and white kit from the Freckled Fawn that I haven't even dove into yet. This is the first thing I'm actually pulling out of it. But it has all these little black... Um, uh, colors in here and the, with the wood so I decided I'd pull these out because I don't know what I'm going to use so went ahead and pulled out those 
and they were supposed to have an embellishment, um, well, a dimensional embellishment, and this also came out of the kit. So these two things right here came from out of that kit, and this is like a black kind of pleather-like bowl here, so I decided to pull that out. And then as far as other embellishments, because I wasn't sure, I pulled out these older Studio Calico, like, um, silver, like, I don't know what they are. Anyway, so there's some silver embellishments here. So you can see those. That's what I pulled out. And then I also pulled out this other wood veneer piece, which is also from Studio Calico, and it says, so good. And then these arrows here, these are like acetate black arrows. There was four of them, so I went ahead and pulled those out. I don't know if you can see those. Let's see. Let me get that paper. You can see them. So there's these arrows here. They're like an acetate, so I pulled those out. And so as far as that's concerned, I got everything, and then um, we're supposed to have some sequins. And of course, you guys know I'm on the Spiegel Mom Scraps Design Team, and I ordered these silver sequins. Ooh, yay. These are called Mira Mira, and these are called Silver Stardust. Jody, Jody makes some awesome mixes, you guys. These are just awesome. Her sequences are awesome. So if you haven't checked out Jody's shop, go ahead and do that, because she's got some really good stuff on there. Okay, and then the last thing we're supposed to have was ribbon. So what I did was I chose this ribbon, and some of you may recognize this ribbon, and some of you may not. But this is the ribbon that comes with the um, Felicity Jane kit. They wrap up their kits all the time in this black ribbon. And so I decided to go ahead and choose that, especially since my kit was mainly themed black and white with a little bit of color. So, all right, so that is our kit. It's not very big. Um, so I hope you enjoy because we're going to be doing just two layouts with this kit and I really hope that you enjoy um, watching the videos. I really want to thank you guys so much for all of your wonderful beautiful comments and stuff so um, we're going to keep going here and I'm not sure how long we're going to do that but it's also it's always a good thing. It's always a good thing. I'm always ready for a video. <laughs> All right, so I want to thank you guys for watching and be sure to tune in to Hannah's, Megan's, Christina, and Sarah's videos to see what kind of kits they have as well. All right, thank you guys. Take care. Bye-bye.